Hey little fuckers, his even seven here, bringing you another Loot Crate unboxing. This time we got a Loot Gaming for February. I know we're coming to the end of March, but uh, they did email and say they were running behind and shipping and whatnot, so I'm not too worried or mad or anything, but obviously this is a little late. This is for February, and it is for the theme of Wild. And it's going to have some World of Warcraft stuff, some Metal Gear Solid 5, what the fuck is it called, Phantom Pain or some shit, Pitfall, I don't know if they're remaking Pitfall or making a Pitfall movie or something, but there's some Pitfall stuff, which is a classic game, and of course, some Zelda Breath of the Wild, the best Zelda game since Link to the Past, Oak Arena, whatever the fuck. It's a really good Zelda game, apparently. I've never been a Zelda guy. But hopefully the item's pretty cool, because they got some really interesting enemies and weapons and stuff like that throughout the series. So that should be good. What do we got in here? We got, uh, it looks like a care package, almost. Some sort of box action for the actual box. Interesting artwork. And first off, we'll go with the shirt, because every box does come with a shirt, just like last month's Resident Evil 7 shirt. This is not the original mansion like I thought it was, this is the Baker House from the new game. But uh, let's see what we got here. It's a nice gray color, and it's actually going to be the Zelda shirt. It's just Link. A nice little pose of Link. Nothing too fancy. It's uh, in the art style of Breath of the Wild. Kind of artsy, cartoonish. I don't know what to call it. It's got a sticker though. That's like one of the first. I think there was like one or two items that had this Loot Crate exclusive sticker on it. But none of them have really had that sticker. But a nice Breath of the Wild shirt. What else do we got in here? This is our World of Warcraft. Oh, no way! I think we got a new hat. We did indeed get a new hat. This is World of Warcraft. And it is a reversible beanie. So I'm guessing on this side we got Alliance. And then flip it over bam nothing but if you turn it inside out it is actually the same color but with the horde symbol instead so that's pretty cool I am not a player of World of Warcraft I used to play back in like the Burning Crusade and a little bit during Lich King but then I, I stopped and I never even got to the level cap I was like level 50 or some shit with a warrior but anyways, it's a pretty sweet hat. I would have liked dual color with the reversible, but uh, I like the alliance symbol a little more than the horde. But I probably won't wear it. I'll stick with my fucking Daniel Bryan hat or the Deadpool. Not Deadpool. Oh my god. The Punisher or Daredevil reversible beanie. But that's still cool. Another hat for my collection of beanies. What else do we got in here? Oh, What is this guy? He got a little wolf man. Oh, I know what the, I didn't even notice the eye patch. It's a decoy dog from fucking Metal Gear Solid 5. That's adorable. A little husky with an eye patch. A little decoy dog. And it's a keychain too. If you really wanted to. But I'm not going to put something like that on my keychain. I don't want that in my pocket. Fuck. That's crazy. What else do we got? What the fuck is this thing? A canteen? Yeah. It looks like it's a little fucking canteen. It's got a strap. But what is this? It? Oh, it's got like old school artwork from the original Pitfall 
but a little more jazzed up with some color and whatnot. And then on the back, Pitfall! So that's pretty cool. Nice little canteen. It's metal and the fabric. Is it metal? I think it's mostly plastic, actually. Definitely got like a plasticky smell to it. Give it a rinse before you use it, obviously. But a nice screw on lid. Pitfall Canteen. Is that, that's not going to stand up. It's round on the bottom. What is this? We got another, like a thank you note from Loot Crate. Cool. Where's the pin at? Oh, okay. It's a decent little design for the pin. It's like a compass, or a compass rose, or whatever you want to call it. It's got the north. Doesn't have any other indication of, like, east west or south but it's got like degree markings and shit like that so that's pretty cool definitely suits the wild theme because if you're going out into the wild you gotta have one of these things at some point because fuck once you're out in the wild you kind of lose sense of direction after a while that's a decent little pin and we got one more thing in here and it is pretty hefty feeling poster. This one I think is gonna expand a little more than just the... no, maybe not. It's just going. Okay. What do we got here? What is our poster? Oh, it's a fucking dude hunting a bear. What the fuck? Like Robin Hood, almost. That's pretty cool. Nice little poster of the wild. Bear hunting for salmon. But the bear's getting hunted, too. And then on the back... It has... All the stuff that we got. We got the cool pin. We got the Pitfall Canteen. We got the Decoy Dog Plush Keychain from Metal Gear Solid. We got the Zelda shirt from Breath of the Wild. We got the World of Warcraft reversible beanie. Both colors are the same inside out. But it's got the different logos for Alliance and Horde. And then over there we could have got the Epic Drop, which looks like to be a Nintendo Switch, along with Breath of the Wild and whatever the fuck else you get with that. And then at the top... It's just a little uh, blur about wild. So it's pretty good. I'm going to turn this back inside out. Fold it back up. Ta-da! It's a pretty good crate. We got a nice little plushie. We got another hat for the collection. A nice shirt. Well, it's a decent shirt. The shirt's actually like one of the least appealing items, but that's because I'm not huge on Zelda, and that's basically all it is. It's just a fucking picture of Link posing like the little bitch he is. But, uh, I really like the hat, although I probably won't wear it. I'm not a huge World of Warcraft guy, but it's still a decent hat. And I really like the plushie. The plushie's adorable. I love the eye patch on the husky. Canteen's cool, although it's a little plasticky. Of course, give it a rinse. The pin fits, and there's only one more thing to do, and that's turn this bad boy inside out real quick. Ta-da! So it's not really a care package. It's actually the decoy box, like you can use in Metal Gear Solid V to go along with the decoy dog. But you can have a lot of fun with these boxes and spook your enemies or not even fucking get noticed by them. And it's quite hilarious, but, uh, yeah, it's just a basic, basic box kind of thing. Nothing fancy, but it definitely fits the theme to go along with the other Metal Gear Solid item. 
So overall, I'm pretty happy with this crate. The poster was good. The shirt, not so great. The pin fits. Canteen, all right. Really cool hat. Amazing little plushie. Box fits. I'm all right with that. We'll see if next month can even come close for March. Even though it should be arriving pretty fucking soon, actually. Coming to the end of March, so we got another future kind of thing. It's going to be future tech. So, it's going to have some technology from the future stuff. And it's going to have some Overwatch. Some Mass Effect Andromeda, which just came out. And people are fucking enjoying it so far. I haven't heard anything bad yet. Prey, which is getting a reboot and looks fucking really good. And then Tron. I haven't heard anything new about Tron, so I don't know what the fuck's going to be included with that, but that's old school fucking game. I used to play Tron back in computer class, in elementary, and all through high school and whatnot. So Tron should be a pretty cool item. Even, the sh even a shirt would be good. But I'd like a little figurine of like one of the bikes or something. That'd be pretty cool. But we'll see next month when we get to another unboxing. <laughs>